Tuesday against Boise, we let one go in our opinion. So we just came out the last uh, three days before this game, practiced very hard, and just knew we were going to get the best shot so we came ready. Yeah, but you guys certainly were ready. And, you know, one of the things we mentioned at halftime, you guys were up 17, and, and again, it's part of that mindset. You know Air Force is going to come after you to start the second half. Would you guys be able to keep up your intensity? Talk about the mindset of your team out of halftime because you just continue to dominate early in the second two. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, you're good. Little, little fans are more important than a radio interview. Yeah, Nico. Um, yeah, we just uh, we knew that we had to come out here. Like we said, we knew they were going to try to come out here and be aggressive, get to the foul line. That's what they did. But, uh, you know, I think Hiron and Kendall and all the guards did a great job of ball pressure. You know, we got a lot of steals. We got Adam. Uh, they trusted me in the post. And, uh, you know, we just played great defense and rebounded the ball. Well, talk about you specifically on the offensive end. I mean, it's got to be nice not seeing a double team every once in a while. What was yeah. the mindset today when you noticed they weren't really coming to double? Well, I missed the first one. I'm thinking in my head. I'm, it's not been that easy in so long, so then I had to, you know, get back to it, and then, you know, I decided to go out through the whole game and start getting more comfortable with it. Well, hey, a, a tough matchup against a Nevada team that really kind of gave it to you guys on the road. A game you guys were in, though, early on. I mean, what are you, you guys looking forward, or are you, are you trying to, to enjoy this one before you kind of look at that, that monster coming on Wednesday? Yeah, you know, uh, like we said in the locker room, we got to enjoy this one tonight. Tomorrow, you know, we got to get back focused, you know. They handed it to us pretty well at their plays, but I think uh, we did a great job in the first half. So we just got to come out with that the whole game. I think we have a great chance to, uh, to be right there in the game. All right, Deco, final thoughts. I want to get your uh, thoughts on passing Pierce Horn on last week for <laughs> third all-time rebounding. Wondering if there was any, uh, any trash talk exchange between you two. And then congratulations to, congratulations to you again today because now you're the second all-time leading rebounder. You passed Rich Strong. Yes, sir. Uh, no. Nah. We kind of made fun of him because I don't know if you saw the, the <laughs> diagram of what he was wearing, and it, it was <laughs> terrible. His swag was so bad. So that's what mostly was what uh, what we were talking about. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm blessed and humbled, and you know, I got I got a couple more uh, games to get to the next spot. Yeah, you do, you do, and and uh, I I think you're on pace to, to get to that. Listen, go enjoy this win. It's it's never easy to come to Air yep. Force and win, let alone beat them by 32 points. Congratulations. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, that's Nico Caravaccio joining us on the